Okay, we are ready to start. Let's check all the devices. Let's try now this microphone. Okay, yes, then we are ready. Hello, Janita. How are you?
Okay, got it. Nicholas, yep, got it. No problem, Nicholas. Cool. Marta, hello, good evening, Marta. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. What about you? Well, um, you know, same story. Tell me, what's new? How was the weekend? Well, my, my weekend was a uh, normal weekend, teacher. I didn't have uh, nothing special, um, but it's the same thing. I went to the church, the supermarket. I take a nap. Uh, took. Took a nap. Um, I have. I did a uh, home house chores. Uh, let me see. And I watch. TV, listen to music. I rest a lot. Oh, that's great. That. <laughs> yeah, teacher. It's, it, it's a, it was a normal weekend for me. Oh, that's nice. I mean, simply the fact that we could rest is nice. Besides that, yeah. you could do your chores, it's great. But now let me see. Oh, you also work in the platform. That's even better. Yeah, I think. got section one, two, and three finished. Yeah, because three section three is due tonight. Yeah, I am finished the platform. The unity. Um, well, the sections for this week, right? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. That's awesome. That's Thank you, teacher. Just Great. Well, always a pleasure to have you here, my dear. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Okay, Susana. Hello, Susana. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Okay. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. How's everything? Yes, teacher. I I continue my I I think I'm my <laughs> strong. <laughs> okay, I can hear you. I can hear you. Don't worry. Say it quite better, okay? Welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see who else is around. Erwin, uh, 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 hello Erwin, how are you? Hello teacher, good evening. I'm fine with you. Okay. Well, you know, fine, just fine here. Same old story as usual. Okay, but today is Monday, so it's necessary to have more attitude as often. Yeah, but you know what's the problem for me right now? Believe it or not, this weather is killing me. It's so hot. Okay. 
and when, whenever it gets so hot, I get uh, like uncomfortable. Sometimes I get headache. Me too. And I am working near to the beach. So it's worse. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Can imagine. For me, it's but terrible. I, I think that it's, it's uh, uh, a question of uh, of attitude. Uh, enjoy everything that the life gives to you. Well, you know, the problem is that it's hot and I hate it. <laughs> it's not that hey, easy me for too. me. Um, uh, today, at the end of the, my my labor day, um, I, I received some uh, guests. Uh, I am working in a restaurant that have some rooms, but we are not a hotel because the number of the the, the rooms. Yeah. So uh, it it was almost six uh, six six uh, and five minutes five minutes past six and they request for uh, dinner and when I when I was when I went to the kitchen my surprise was that all the the cooks or, or the kitchen st staff um, are, are not there. They finish to, 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 to do their thing, things and they were leave. They left. So they left. So I, I um, turn on the, the, the fires, turn on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, turn on the light, the, fi the fires, and I start to cook for my guests. Ooh. So um, it was uh, funny and terrible because the weather at this time of the day was um, asfixiante. Suffocating. Suffocating the 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 humidity the humidity. Uh, hot, uh, well. humidity 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 okay so but um, I enjoy these things too because I am doing to my customer happy <laughs> I am making my customers happy. Okay, um, I, I, I am making, or I made, I made. No, mm -hmm. I am making in this case because, oh, well, or oh, you can say I try to make my customer happy. Uh -huh. So um, I met some Canadian guys, one boy and Canadian. one girl. And we're Canadian, making, and remember yeah. the sound, Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. Uh, they are they are from uh, Ontario, oh, and they Ontario. speak both languages, French and and and, and English. But yeah. uh, both languages, the, the way that they speak both languages are, are very different and sometimes yeah. difficult to understand. I was. Actually, I was going to point that out for you that they speak uh, Canadian English and Canadian French. Uh -huh. Which they is their different. own version. Yeah. Yeah. It's something different. So yeah, it I mean, was a. It, but if you speak English, I mean, after a while, you catch up with their vocabulary. It just yeah. takes a little bit of time to get used to the accent and, well, not just the accent, some of the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Because they don't use uh, 
for certain situations or objects, they don't use the same words. Uh, hmm. But yeah, it, when they, when some of my coworkers told me, "Hey, they are they are from France." No, they are not from France. They are Canadian. And uh, well, I I start to talk with them and with these these guys, and I realize that effectively they are from Can Canada. Perfect, great Canada, nice. Yeah, and you know, actually, with the pass of time and it. It also depends on where you are located. You get used to different accents and sometimes you catch up with the accent quite fast just by listening to them. There are certain accents yes. that are kind of difficult. As you remember, you were we were talking last week, uh, Irish, Irish English is yes. yeah. complex. Difficult, different. Yeah, it's like uh, and I, I have a corny, corny accent. Courtney. 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 Yeah, it, that's English, but uh, man, it's like uh, 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 on the north part of England, and and it's the, the English they talk on almost on the street. That's a whole, okay. whole different story. The same goes for Scottish. Yeah, okay. Scottish sounds a little bit different. Yes. The yeah, first time that the, that my yeah, the me. first time that my brother went to the, the United States, um, he's an English teacher, and I he graduated from the Universidad del Salvador, and he won uh, scholarships in the, in the United States. So the first time that the, he went. Uh, the, to the U.S., his first um, uh, contact with a real people from the state was uh, a nigger uh, that he was uh, singing and playing in the street. So uh, he told me, my brother told me, hey, it was really, really interesting that I, as a teacher and a no conocedor, no knowler, no. no. And in no knowledge able. Okay, no knowledge able um, about the English and with my TOEFL past, <laughs> I can understand to this guy. I couldn't. It was. I couldn't. I, I couldn't, I couldn't understand this guy. Well, it's incredible because um, if, if as a teacher you you obtain the comp all the competences to speak and to explain and to teach, but uh, the real life is totally different sometimes. Yeah. Well, actually. The thing is this, you know, when you study the career to become an English teacher, actually what they focus more is in learning how to teach it appropriately. Not really, not really in the in the speaking. I mean, supposedly those skills, you're supposed to bring those skills already when you start the career. I mean, and nowadays here in El Salvador, in order to get into the English career to become an English teacher, you need to have approved TOEFL before. Okay. You before to, to start a, to... Yeah, TOEFL or TOEIC. If you haven't, you have a certain period of time to take it. Okay. And, and you are not allowed to graduate if you don't have it. Fast. But okay. uh, because the university is not really teaching you the language, they are teaching you how to teach the language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, the abilities you get, you grasp certain abilities and 
and you polish the skills when you are starting the career. But uh, I mean, to be face to face with uh, with English speakers is it's a whole different story. And as you said, it also depends on the the context where you are because I mean, you don't. You don't speak the same type of vocabulary. You don't. You won't listen the same kind of accent if you're speaking with somebody from the streets, somebody from the suburbs, depending on the states. I mean, uh, people who's uh, of of Latin American ancestry sometimes they don't speak Spanish. They speak English, but their accent is influenced by their parents, and not just the accent, also the vocabulary. So I mean. Even the slang, the type of slang they use is kind of different. So all yeah. those little aspects, actually, they make a big uh, influence on the way where, how they speak, and they will affect your understanding of them if you are not used to that. Because I mean, some people, it's not the same. If I start talking to you like this, if I go like, hey, Joe, what's up, Holmes? What's it going, man? I mean, I change uh, the rhythm pattern. I change the pitch of voice. I change the, the 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 way in which I mouth and the intonation. It's a whole different thing, and it it depends on the context where you are. So I mean, yeah, yeah it's true. You are right there, and you are faced with a whole different world, and you say, "Wait, what's up? Where's my English?" But after a couple of days, you realize that your English is still there. It's just that you need to get used to perhaps the accents you are listening, depending on the state you are in. Yeah. Well, Erwin, That's the point. As usual, as usual, always interesting talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Anna Claudia, hello. How's it going? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, here, starting the week, as Erwin says, uh, with a new attitude. And what about you? How was your weekend full feel of class, teaching classes, and being connected through sitting classes too? Oh, it was full, you know, full, full. It was an interesting situation. Actually, one of my classes got suspended, ah. so I didn't have time to relax. But then the one that I don't like was on, so I got to connect to, to statistics. Of, of <laughs> But statistic is beautiful because helps it, to realize and measure multiple things. It's, it's interesting, but for me, it's boring. I mean, it's not <laughs> that I don't understand it, it's just boring. Mm. Mm. And, okay. and you know what? Funny thing is that it's the only subject I got homework from. The rest oh. of the subjects, there's no homework, but statistics, I already got one. Oh, but. Is uh, the next class is until next Saturday or Sunday? I don't know. Saturday? No, so the next class is Thursday. <gasps> My gosh. So would you have time to be in that class? I mean. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, that class is from 6 to 7.40. Wow. Just almost on time. <laughs> yeah. And the same goes for tomorrow. Tomorrow I got, uh, but I don't remember administration something like that yeah mm. and administration theory something like that and that's tomorrow again from 6 to 7 40 so i got time enough time yes, to you need to get news okay yeah well what about for you? me uh well here i guess i right now i'm suffering the consequences of the dust of last week because uh i feel like my noise is uh my news huh my Your nose. Nose, uh-huh, my nose. Uh, the dust is because I don't know if it's an allergy or something like that, but I al always, when there is dust near or around me, I always put something on my nose, like uh, something like Vaseline or something. No, 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 that's, that's wrong. What you need to do is to put something on your mouth, like a shot of tequila, you know, and no, no, come on. No, <laughs> the, the, the thing is that I, when when all these days uh, the construction was going on here in my home, remember they were they removed the the the, the roof, 
uh, what happened is that all this dust was in the atmosphere and I was uh, using a mask, but always, uh, whenever you go to yeah, the bedroom, it, when it plays. It permeates everything. Wow. So today I feel like a, like a, some allergy, but I'm taking some pills right now and, and I'm, I'm, I think I will feel okay. Once I sleep tonight, I, I will be okay for tomorrow. But Man, I hate that, you that think feeling. You're gonna be able to sleep. It's so hot today. Mm, yes, it's so hot. But I don't know, maybe it's different in San Salvador because here in Santana, yes, it's hot. But it's, uh, puedo decir, soportable. It's bearable. Bearable. Yeah. Mm, okay. So it's, I think it's bearable. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Yes, I think it's bearable. Uh, and well, maybe taking a shower is. But my system shows that the temperature is 29 degrees, but I don't know if it's correct right now. It says yeah. Santa Ana, 29 degrees. 29 degrees? That's not fresh for me. I know, but maybe because of my allergy, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I feel like, well, maybe I, I. I was thinking it was some kind of temperature, but maybe yes, you're right. It's the is the um, ah, weather. <laughs> it's the weather. Yeah. It's so hot. You know, yes. I got. I got a fan here, and I wish I were in my bedroom. Man, there is pressure. <laughs> With air cooler? Yeah. Mm. This. Yeah, that's, but you know, that's the problem with my house that I got uh, the air conditioner, but uh, 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 people here, they are allergic. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, tell me. That, <laughs> so in that case, uh, so people go to your bedroom. No, no, the, no. Actually, no, both bedrooms got air conditioner, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, but the thing is that uh, my son is allergic, she's allergic, so uh, my, I what, I, believe you. what I do sometimes is that I get the, the air conditioner so the, the, the room can cool down uh -huh. and at least I can fall asleep. Wow. That helps. My goodness. <laughs> And besides, besides you know, leaving it on the whole night long, man, the electricity bill. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I don't like. I, I maybe I enjoy air conditioner, but that a few minutes. But then sleep with an air conditioner? No, that's not for me. Mm -mm. I prefer no, to sleep with the uh, open windows and the uh, uh, natural air, <laughs> but not with air condition. No, no. That's not for me. <laughs> so I understand your wife and your son. I like it. I mean, mm -hmm. I like it. I don't do it. <laughs> well, thank you, Ana Claudia. Welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me get uh, the attendance. I'm Barilio Alparo Gomez. So Present. Cool. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Gracias. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorte. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Noria Elizabeth López Perdera. Present teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. 
Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñata. Alfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Samir Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. And Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Walter's been having problems with connection. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Noria, how are you? How's it going? Hi, teacher. Hi, and you, teacher? Ah, uh, you know, yeah, same old. Tell me, what's new? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, could you repeat, please? What's new? Yeah, what's new? Okay, um, I'm tired, teacher, because I had a long trip uh, last Sunday. My really? bus take almost five hours. Oh, hours. Where, where did, oh, yeah, you were coming from Guatemala, right? Yeah, I, I was very tired. And when we were in the, ¿cómo se dice? Frontera, teacher. Border. When we were in the border, the security, the security well, border, actually, maybe? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When we were at the border. Okay, when we were at the border, the security border uh, checked the all baggages. Yeah. And I, I and they I have to go down to open my bag to my my luggage because I usually ¿Cómo se dice? Les pongo un candado. I usually lock them. Lock, lock, lock them. I usually lock them and I have to open my luggage and they check all my things, teacher. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah, I, 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 I bought some quesaltecas. Have you heard quesaltecas? Yeah, I know. And maybe it that's why that's what the reason that they need to check my luggage because I bring I, I bring I brought seven quesaltecas but have the little ones. I brought I brought I brought I brought but was the little ones. Maybe okay. that's why they need to check my luggage. Okay, look the word padlock. Padlock. That's a candado. Padlock. Yeah. Padlock. Okay, thank you. Well, but yeah, but you for know. the rest, for the rest, all, everything was okay because I was watching a movie, a movie from India, an Indian movie. What's very interesting that movie? Oh, really? I don't what remember that. About? I don't remember the name, teacher, but was about the a man who has a Wow, syndrome. I don't remember the syndrome that he has t-shirt in that movie, but I don't remember t-shirt, but it was a, was, a good movie. Was, a, was a good movie and he was a very uh, smart man. Uh, aun cuando, ¿cómo sería? Even, aun, even when he has that sy sy syndrome, Mm, could it be a, a level of autism? My name is Jam. I'm not sure if the name was, my name is Jam. I, I don't remember, but almost the name was, a, my name is, but I don't remember what was the exact name of the movie. My name is Jam. I don't, I'm not sure. But was very interesting. Oh, so glad to hear it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Just a second.
Let's see, Roxana. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I just fine, I guess. Tired. I need more vacation uh, to rest oh, in for <laughs> yes. Yes. I can believe it. You're just yes. finishing vacation. Well, you back to work today? Yes, I come back today and I have had a really busy day checking and cleaning my email, solving cases, obtained everything or almost everything. And I finished work at 6 and 30 p.m. around. And then I had my dinner. And after that, I, I was working on the platform. But to be honest, this day, it was, be, it was really, really uh, tidal for me. You know, I need to uh, check in the homework from uh, to my son. Send my son's homework. My son home homework, and I need to check the platform too. And you know, it's complex. It was a really busy day. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and the platform today is section three. You haven't finished. You're missing yeah. a few exercises. Oh my gosh, what a chain, what a chain. But don't worry, I can wait for you tonight until you finish. <laughs> I just uh, check in one task and I finish that. Okay, that's nice, yeah, because you're still missing 20%. Mm -hmm. That's one exercise, easy. Easy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, Roxana, welcome. Nice having you here back. Thank you. Okay, oh, let's see, how's everybody? Uh, Fernando, hello Fernando. Hello teacher, good evening. Sorry, good evening. my mic was out, but was off. <laughs> no problem, no problem, that happened. Hey, today you stay home, right? Right. Right today, I, I I work from home. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. In a way, I, in a way. <laughs> yeah, in a way, because... Uh, I feel we work I, more whenever we are working from home, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's, uh, we don't have a schedule at home. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, that's kind of stressful. That happens to me, you know, whenever I'm working from home, uh, uh, people start, uh, not you, but I mean, in the case of you guys, it's it's normal. It's part of the, it's part of the deal, okay? To, yeah. to, to be in contact, to be in touch with you by, by those means. But from my other job, man, you wouldn't believe people that I saw today at noon, they start texting me around 11. Around 11. And yeah. No, and sometimes, you know what's funny? A couple of times I have gotten uh, messages around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Oh. <laughs> in the morning. Wow. I'm like, what? The? Yeah, that's why I started turning it off my turning it off myself because <laughs> man. But you, you don't you don't respond them at that time. No, well that's the thing. You know, I have I have explained. Actually, I got uh, two phone numbers. I mean, uh, for one of them, I have told them, okay, I like in your case, I told you guys, whenever uh, I'm, I always tell you, I stay connected around 11, 11 30, No problem if you text me at that time. It's cool. But from that, with that people, that cell phone, I tell them, okay, until eight, I'm available. After eight, I'm not answering nobody. Well, okay. That's and cool. people don't care. <laughs> yeah, but but if it's an, an emergency, 
The phone is off. I turn it off. The <laughs> thing is this that the thing is this I got uh, like around 200, 200 uh, contacts divided in groups and I give all the instructions during the day. I, I have set up a time for, for, for consultations, you know, and well, that's the time allotted to it. And I am open to even to, to, to get with them up to eight. After 8 p.m., no way go safe. Yeah, I can because if, that. if I start doing it, believe me, it happened to me. I started doing it, answering back. Man, they got excited. <laughs> And it's not the yeah. same, me dealing with what? This is a group of 20, 20 persons. I mean, uh, 20 people. It's a group of just 20. What? Three or four of you are texting me late at night. That's cool. Imagine from a group out of a 200 person, I got like 50 texting me. It's crazy. It's crazy. Handle, handle it. But it's your profession. It's yeah, but well, actually, yeah, what we were talking about is that when you're working from home and sometimes, I mean, you get more, more pressure, I feel. Okay. You, you don't have time for, I don't know, social media or or idle time in the, in the phone. What's, what's that social media? <laughs> I don't even remember what's that no more. That's no more. Okay. Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't, I stopped using Facebook as an example. I, I ain't got none. Okay. And where do you listen the the, the news or, or what happened in the world? I don't. I mean, yeah. I do. I check, I check the news, but uh, Google News and I get to NBC, ABC, uh, routers. So that's, that's Twitter. I'm sorry? Twitter. Yeah, I got Twitter. It's the only one I got. Okay. Yeah, Twitter. Mostly, more... mostly, for, mostly for checking info because I never tweet. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like me. But Twitter is more. Mm, the time is more, I don't know, no se desperdicia mucho el tiempo. Yeah, you don't waste that much time. I mean, you go straight for what you want, you check it out, that's it. Yeah, it's more conscious. Yeah, it's focused. It's focused. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where it's focused. Okay. Yeah. So for me, that's easier, but the rest, man, no time. For real, no time. <laughs> I got no time to be, no wasting because I mean, for some people, social media is like relaxing. Man. It's what they you do, what they use in order to get rid of some stress. And I mean, it's not that I waste time. I don't have time to invest into that. That's the thing. So, and, I just and the meme, teacher, the meme doesn't exist, really? No, not really, to be honest with you. Uh, and whenever I got free time, what I do is read. But you and will actually, sit in your WhatsApp group. Yeah, that's the only one that I'm check. And yeah, and I receive some there once in a while. <laughs> but uh, yeah, actually the, the fact of me getting rid of the other app has allowed me to, to get back on track with my, with my reading, you know? Because instead of spending time on social media, you spend it reading, and that's cool for me. I like it. Yeah, I understand. It's a crazy, yeah, a crazy hunger. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hey, Mister, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Uh, before I continue, Nuria, my name is Can. That's the movie. Yeah, ham. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 it's, I'm uh, not sure the name. My name is Ham. Yeah. Yeah, it's Asperger. The, the, as I told you, it's a level of autism. Kang. Have you? It's his name title. is Kang. Kang. That is a beautiful movie. My yeah. name is Kang. 
Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. I love. I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's an Austin. He he has a type of Austin. Autism. Asperger, yeah. I believe. Asperger. Asperger. The Asperger yeah, syndrome. Asperger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in I the see. case of Asperger, well, you know, in all the cases of. Autism, there are levels and levels. Some are more mm -hmm. functional mm -hmm. than others. In yeah. Asperger, and let them focus on certain areas. Like but they are not, they do not socialize. And if you remember that movie, uh, they have certain colors they are afraid well, to. The, it also depends, depends on the level, because I mean, exactly. my, my, my sister in law, uh, she was teaching a kid a couple of years ago. and mm -hmm in a personalized class and he's got that Asperger is he's actually a neighbor and he's not that much sociable but mm -hmm. uh, incredibly intelligent had, no but he had progressed a lot on that mm -hmm. aspect yeah. he talks to you uh, he answers direct questions and he asks you questions mm -hmm. I mean once he gets to trust you, you can be in contact mm. and talking to him, and it's quite normal. I think that yeah. now the, the world is open, is open to hear and to understand and to accept uh, this uh, uh, type of, uh, I, they are not uh, illness, they are, I don't remember how they uh, name them. But yes, the world is open now, it's common to, to to know about those were Asperger, all things, etc. That's good. My sister is a, she's a specializing, she's a, ay, la tienda niños especiales y ve todas esas, todas esas eh, areas. Ay, no me acuerdo, areas, sí, pero no me acuerdo cómo le dicen. But it's beautiful. That, beauty, that movie is so beautiful. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, thank you, ladies. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. So far, so good, teacher. How's it going? You still uh, on vacation or are you back working? I'm still on vacation, but oh today my was. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's right. But today was a, a busy day, teacher, uh, because I have oh, to okay. do a lot of things to submit a form uh, to get a permission to transport the scholars. Oh, really? Yeah, so I have to make a lot of things to do uh, today. But yeah, that's, well, I that's need to complex. continue making uh, some things tomorrow because I couldn't finish. Well, but the good thing is that you got time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's good I for have... you that you got time enough. To, yeah. to, in order to run those errands, because I mean, otherwise it's it's a big problem asking for permission, and then perhaps going to the some offices and they ask you to come back again. Man, that's tedious. And yeah, just, that is is really disgusting, teacher. Because when you have the of the document the document to, to present, they say, hey, but you have to use another and that other uh, has to delay like three days more so it's really disgusting because you, you have to pay you pay a lot for it forget it yeah i know i know what you mean yeah well, but well the good thing is that you are home right now relax yeah yeah tomorrow is right. another day my friend uh, one thing that was hard today was remove the polarized of the microbus. Oh, really? Was it bubble? Yeah. Yeah. When it's bubble, when it gets bubbles, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Because it's too old. Yeah, that's right. And it and it turns like purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. When it's like um, that, because... it's terrible and it smells. Yeah, that's right. But we didn't use a lot, so that's why it was like that. Yeah, but oh, to get rid of that takes time and you gotta be pretty careful. Yeah, that's right. I mean, 
the problem is that it takes time because we are just getting out little pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and don't you remove cannot, the, the complete you cannot pull, you cannot pull it out, pull it mm -hmm. out complete. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. But cut and just remove a little piece, then you have to uh, use the cutter to remove them. Yeah, when you finish removing pieces, you start cleaning the gym. Yeah. The adhesive, it's uh, mm -hmm. tedious. No. You, you only have to use, um, uh, what's the name of that? I don't know. I don't know how to, blade? How to pronounce. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I mean, as I tell you, it's tedious. It's not mm -hmm. difficult, but it's tedious because you gotta be yeah. like cleaning. You take a lot of time. It takes and time. then tomorrow I have to, to watch the, well, I'm not gonna watch the engine. I will bring my, my clothes to one uh, car wash and they will uh, watch the engine. Steam or water? Oh, it's clean. Steam or regular water? Mm -hmm. it's, it's still. Steam, steam, vapor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, steam. because, uh, because that's delicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's really delicate. So that's why I, I as I told uh, that for tomorrow, because uh, the engine has to be cold. So I just has to to start to move to my house, not to move since my house to the uh, car wash, but it's really near to my house. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, nice having you here, Jose. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you for us. Okay, let's see. Still the time. Still the time. But we are going to do something different right now because we need to talk but not just with me okay now guys we are talking about business tell me if you have your own business what kind of business would it be and how would you run it do you remember we were talking something like that yesterday uh, last week let's see let's see i remember asking some of you so we are going to warm up with that let's see uh, uh, um, erwin what what was your answer for this question well uh, uh, i enjoy to serve others so uh, i think that a restaurant is my my business so if I if I I could have my own business, I would like to be a restaurant owner. Okay, perfect, excellent. Now, what about you, Mr. Guardado, Alfredo Guardado? Good evening. Perhaps if we see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ambar, what about you? I don't know. Maybe I would like to um touristic guy, maybe. Okay, cool. That's nice. Yes, uh, maybe enjoy visiting places. Yes, yes, uh, maybe, um, I don't know, I, how do you say alquilar? Rent. I will rent a, a bus in the beginning in my own business and I will visit some place near to San Salvador, but and <laughs> I don't know. And lo que, ¿cómo sería it's decir? a good plan. Cuando transcurra el tiempo, poder ir a lugares más lejos. No sé. So with the uh, with the pass of time, you can go to farther places. 
when the pass of time, uh, I will go the far farther, place. Yeah, farther that's places. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. And it's nice that you got a, a, a actually you got a clear idea what you would like to have, right? Mm, so so, but <laughs> it, it never. I never. <laughs> I wonder. Wondering the question. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I mean sometimes we got the idea, but uh, obligations and stuff we got attached to what we have, right? Yes. Well, Amber, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Too. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mr. Osorio, what about you? Hi, good evening, teacher. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I... I I run a a, a price uh, business. Okay. Mm -hmm. With a uh, different uh, sauce or meats, and I I will advertise on social media. I would offer the service for a private events or football match and private. something like that. Private. Okay, teacher, thank you. Private private events okay. or football match matches. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. So you got the idea to start small and then go up. Mm -hmm. Maybe on a, a, a trailers or a truck. Uh -huh. Or how do you say puesto ambulantes? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, in English, what you say is street vendors. Ah, okay, street vendors. Uh huh. Maybe the street vendors. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Now, you got yourself a very interesting question. Okay, I want to know. If you could travel in time, to what time would you go and why? Okay, guys, listen up. If you could travel on time, to what time would you go and tell me why? Just let me do a little something here. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. You're gonna have five minutes to answer the question. If you could travel in time, to what time would you go and why? Let's do it. Hello, hello, copper girl. <laughs> Tell me, what color did it end at? Was it copper or a different color? Uh, I may be that grape. I don't know, but I don't like it. <laughs> what? You don't know what color? It, the reason is that it's very... um. Aún estoy botando tinte. Oh, really? Ajá. Uh -huh. But is not when I die, dying, or cuando me lo quité. Yeah. When I die, is not that color that I choose because I, I have, or I thinking that that color is more, eh, más claro. Lighter, lighter. My lighter, uh-huh. But 
I don't know. Eh, está hecho. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you need some help, I got some scissors, you know. <laughs> no, teacher. I got, look, I got scissors and I got a shaving machine, so. <laughs> no, teacher, thank you, but no, it's an option. <laughs> you can go for both. I mean, that's cool. Puedo usar peluca. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can get a wig, any color you want. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, ladies, I'll let you work. And, and advising me to avoid the stress and sleep as much uh, as I can. And they apply me medic medicamentos, medicine, or, uh, thank you. In, inside my vein and, and many pills. But uh, I will be able to be in the classes. Uh, I'm so sorry. Also, also, I know that it will be very demanding. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Hello, guys. Be careful. Hello. Yes, I, I, I will take the advantage uh, to rest a lot. What you got, Jose? I'm sorry if it's okay for me to ask. Ah, uh, the word teacher. Uh, uh, I, I talk with with Martha in, in today. Uh, to me, it was a long day because I had an, an appointment with the doctor, and they referred me to an uh, doctor internista de emergencia. Oh, really? Yes, and because I am at risk of, of having a, fa a facial paralysis. Oh, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. my, my right eye yeah. closed for contractions. Uh, yeah, of due to contractions. To three minutes. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and I have them at, at any time. And the, the headache uh, still hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. It's a problem, it's a problem. Well, let's hope you get better. Uh, thank you, teacher. Uh, and tomorrow I, I plan to be prepared for my individual presentation. I promise. <laughs> that's great, that's great. Mm -hmm. Get okay, well soon, Jose. Hello, mister. Get well. I think. Now we'll be interested. Do you like to see all these type of movies, like futuristic movies? Um, well, the movies almost all, all the time mm -hmm. uh, are about robots and in it, it's like science fiction. I don't know. Mm -hmm science fiction is the word but I, I i i wouldn't like to to travel to know that area i just would like to know uh, how will be the normal the the, the normal life mm -hmm. of us i mean we, we i i don't expect to to use robots being honest mm -hmm. i don't expect but uh, maybe a uh, there, there will be some things that will change. For example, the the jobs. If there will be no new opportunities, and I will be prepared to that and try to be the first person. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, but in science fiction, I, I don't think. I, mm -hmm. I don't. I wouldn't like. It would be interesting. I don't know. I don't have like a specific time I would like to be. No. Mm -hmm. no. I haven't think in that possibility. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... Let me see. Let me see. Because in the age that, that Amber mentioned, I'm thinking about uh, women freedoms. They weren't yes. free to, uh-huh. Yes. They were in bathrooms. <laughs> That's what happened. 
that uh, and in the future i don't know it's like uh okay it would be good to know is to be prepared as you say i know yeah, i it. think uh, i have read some books mm -hmm. from jane austen have you ever read no Jason? no yeah, for example i will tell you a uh, previous and pride i think Predish and pride or we produce in spanish Mm -hmm. she she wrote she wrote the the books in that area oh. and i think you you look uh, to the woman and and you think oh my god she looks really good but oh my god she she didn't has have life mm -hmm. the the woman was just to be at home and, exactly oh my, that is what i, I, I think i love i love mm -hmm. I love, eh, se dice? And, and, and the music, music andina, and the music. Uh, some um, instrumental music. I love um, some romantic music. Uh, a little bit of different, different tipos. Different, no, ¿cómo sería? Types. I'm sorry, teacher. Types. Types, different types of music. Okay. But I, I prefer I like relaxed music, opera. Not not exactly opera. I have. Do you have here in Diego music? Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, this I type know. of music I, I like it. Yeah, I know that's pop opera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pop love opera. this type of music. Okay. Yeah, I love it. But I love to uh, Juan Juan Gabriel music. I love it. Uh, well, if you get into classicals, I recommend for you if you like a little bit like opera. Mm, Habanera from Carmen. That's beautiful. Habanera music. Habanera. No, 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 no. Habanera is the name of them. In a Opera is divided in different sections. One of the section of the of the opera, uh, uh, Carmen. That the small section is called uh, uh, Habanera. Okay. And it's beautiful. And the, the 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 who created this was let's see uh, this guy, Bisset. Habanera, Carmen. Yeah, Car just look Carmen from the set. And believe me, you will enjoy it. Okay. For me, it's one of things. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I hear a teacher. I don't know nothing about opera. <laughs> oh, la more, only, la more. only opera, only opera rock. <laughs> <laughs> only rock music. Hard rock. Oh. If you like that, oh, if you like that, well, symphonic. What do you think about symphonic, Fernando? About symphonic, I, I like it, but it's not my, my favorite. Have I, you, what about, uh, 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 what's the name of this group um, in Spanish? The, Man, the, I always listen year. to it. Hold on, hold the on. I, I, went, I went to, I went to the, the, the other, the other. Theater. 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 I went to the theater to listen a symphonic orchestra. Orchestra. Orchestra, right. In Santa Ana. Oh, nice. Well, uh, the, the, this is a recommendation for you. The more symphonic. Yeah, the group is this. Man, the intro is beautiful. El tree, but it's not El tree, not is Alex Lora. <laughs> yes, that one. Yeah. That one. Okay. Yeah. The intro oh. is beautiful. I like it. With Rosanna, I don't talk because she likes reggaeton. She's expecting the yeah. concert that is coming that's her thing and and it's that uh, i mean i'm not criticizing her style it's just that uh, i'm ignorant on those areas 
It's weird. For Hi, Rosanna. Hi. Rosanna, and you, Rosanna, what is your favorite music? I don't have uh, favorite music. I just. Yeah. What yeah. I know, what it is. <laughs> you know. <laughs> bad, bun, bad Bunny. Bad bunny. <laughs> yes, Bad Bunny. Whatever. <laughs> you, are, you are happy because in November Bad Bunny will no, offer a concert. I don't, no, no, no. I don't have a no, no, money. No, I'm for sorry. That. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fernando. Those ain't no concerts. Those are recitals. Recitals, yeah. It's a park. <laughs> Maybe next month for Nodal. <laughs> Nodal. Oh, but I'm not okay. sure. I don't have enough money. I spent yeah. in my travel and I need to save. Nodal. Nodal, Christian Nodal. Yes. Belinda's uh, <laughs> ex. Exacto. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. I Where did you go on your vacations? I visited Mexico mm. last week. Were you at um, El Carmen? El Carmen Beach? No, oh. no, no around there. Mm. I visited Cancun and. Hello, guys. You finished, right? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, where's Marcella? Marcella, Marcella, there you are. Hello, teacher. Tell me when and why. Okay. I will like, to, I, I think I just got the idea with the question, but I think I would like to the future just in order to be prepared for the new things that will come. Maybe the, everything is changing now in the world and I would like to know how to overcome those things, maybe they will What to be... expect? Tell me. What to expect? What to expect, yes. And maybe there, there, there will be some new business. And if okay. I travel uh, before everybody, I will know how to oh, handle. Oh, beforehand. That's yeah. cool. Excellent. That's... Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. What do you think about it, Mr. Osorio? Jose. Hello, Osorio. Hello. Tell me. Um, I, I decided uh, 
the same, the, the thing that I, I was taught with my partners. And I will start my career early teacher. Okay. And so I will, wouldn't uh, have finished it at, at my, at this age that I am. And uh, I will travel to the year 2015 to see my father again and, and talk with, with him and spend more time with him. Yeah. It's my opinion, teacher. Okay, excellent. Right, right. right. Thank you. Yeah, I still got some. Still got some. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, Mr. Guardado, tell me. Teacher, now I know how long I am going to yeah, no only problem. hear in the classes. Okay, no problem, no thank problem. you. Okay, okay. Now let's see. Sorry, guys, I'm just checking something. Maria Alejandra, what about you? You could travel on time. Where? When and why? <laughs> okay. I feel um, to come back uh, for the past or uh, visit the past uh, because I like uh, um, I like to see the different places around the world but in the past um, I don't know for the example in the group uh, say or she had the pyramids, 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 and I don't know. I think that in many years ago, I have a lot of information in a different landscapes or view very different that in in now, and I don't know. I like to to know this view. <laughs> okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see, what about you, Fernando? Please, teacher, I, I will travel to 2007. Uh, to Mexico City for the last tour of Eros del Silencio, and I oh, will really enjoy it, that last concert. It was awesome. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, yeah, they came here twice, right? Yeah, in like 1993, and I don't remember what was the second one. The second one, which the second time they came here. Oh, um, really? I I don't remember because I <laughs> I don't have money in that time. But I yeah, don't have time, the idea. first time they came. I remember it was nineteen ninety three, Gimnasio Nacional. Okay. It was. You've been here. Cool. Yeah. It uh, was yeah. cool. I am you. Really, I am you. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I went, I I went. Let, let me phrase it like this for you, to be honest with you. The parts I remember were pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. The um, parts I remember. Yeah, I, I can imagine that on, not all the whole concert are, are awesome, but. I I watched it in in the tour, the tour. Yeah. Uh, the every song are beautiful. The, no sé, interpretación. Play. Uh, sorry. Yeah, the play. The play. Oh, yeah. the play. The play yeah. and the yeah. and the interaction with with the the people in that song are very very awesome but 
I never see it. Uh, I never see that that band in concert. I only saw uh, Enrique Bumbury at Solis. Oh, just by by himself. Performance. Performance. Okay. Yeah, that performance know. was. Yeah. Awesome. I can imagine. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Jose Alfredo, what about you? Okay, teacher, in my case, I could travel to the time when the Vikings exist. Um, why? Because I guess that the Vikings was really nice person because they all the time practice the uh, what's the name of that fidelity uh, of the crew I don't know if crew is the the right the right word to use because they they always let me see they always shared the uh -huh. they always shared or divide the 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 let me see what is the name of that mm. the treasures that they found it And okay. well, the, the, yeah, and I really all the time uh, like the, the style of life that they had. It was kind of rough. Yeah, that's right. But it was really good uh, to me. Okay, well, Thank you. Yeah, welcome, teacher. Nicolas, what about you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, well, for me is well, for me and in my in my group is is very interesting to know uh, the construction of the Egypt pyramids and the Sphinx pyramids. Is correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And in other 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 moment interesting are is is to know uh, the culture of of Mesoamerica in in the culture 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 uh, yeah thank you C culture in Mesoamerica uh, specifically uh, with the Mayas and Aztecas uh, and to know the nature, the condition of the nature. Okay, perfect. Praise Thank things. you. Praise things. Thank you. Thanks to you. Hey guys, I didn't get the second attendance, right? Sure, no, it's, it's oh, necessary. And Barely Alfaro Gomez? Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez? Present. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia? Ah. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present, teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Montarosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. 
Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you, Yanira. Marcelo Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Okay, Erwin, what about you? Tell me. What time would you like to go back to? Well, um, maybe the most interesting is the beginning of the of the creation with the dinosaurs. I would like to know if how they were uh, what, all the ecosystem in that time. And this is my at that time. At that time. At that, at that time. This is my my preferred age. Okay, interesting, quite interesting. Anna Claudia, what about you? Mm, so kind of interesting question because I haven't think in that before. I haven't thought. I haven't thought, I'm sorry. In that before, but once I heard Osorio, I guess, yes, maybe I would like to Traveling time when my dad was, can I say, alive? Yeah. Okay. You might say. It. Ah, okay. It's because I always got confused with life and alive. <laughs> okay. When he was alive, and yes, I would like to ask some questions that uh, regarding to, to multiple things and taking advantage and, and enjoying that, that time. Maybe. That is the only answer I have to that question. Mm -hmm. You can solve this playing La Ouija. Oh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I remember watching that movie. Okay, now let's see. For me, what would it be? Oh, La, la Belle de Cook. That's interesting for me. Quite interesting, actually. But that's me. The bell, the pope. <laughs> yeah. I mean, mine is my biggest interest is are in art and literature. So that time of history is quite. Quite interesting, but let's continue, guys. Now, now, I'm sorry for the rest of you, but I got, uh, I gotta explain something. Well, actually, this is a topic that you know already, guys. Just that we are going to see it on a different, from a different perspective. Let me just get it set so we can share it. Okay. Okay, how to use clauses with when and if to express future conditions. Okay, now, before anything, let's see, we're gonna do it in a, I'm gonna do it in a slightly different way. Remember, this topic actually is just a review for you guys because you already know this. So let's go. Now, what we got here is simple. It's a conditional sentences. Okay, you know that there are four types of conditionals and a this type of conditional receives the name. This is actually the second type of conditional, okay? The second type is called a uh, future possible. Okay, now, what do we express with the future possible? An action that if the condition becomes real, in the present or in a moment close to the present, the result is going to be seen in the future. 
Now, remember, whenever we are talking about conditional sentences, you got to remember that we are talking about clauses. And in order to structure a conditional sentence, you need uh, the conditional clause, and you also need the result clause. Okay, when talking about future possible, the conditional clause needs to be expressed in simple present tense, okay? Simple present tense. Then the result clause needs to be expressed in simple future. Okay, so we got, remember the conditional clause, the result clause. Do you remember last week I was explaining to you that a clause is a sentence, a complete full sentence. So you got the conditional, you got the result. The condition must be expressed in simple present, the result must be expressed in future. Like what? Okay, like when you say, look at this, if I study a lot of English, I will be able to speak to anybody. Okay, there we go. In this case, look, guys. So we got the conditional close, simple present. As you see, is exactly this. The result close, we got it, simple future. And if you notice, the auxiliary for future is right here, will. So, if I study a lot of English, I will be able to speak to anybody. Now, something that you must be aware of is this, the comma. Okay, when do we use the comma? Simple. The comma is used if we start the sentence with the conditional clause. Remember the conditional clause will always have if at the beginning. The result clause just got the subject. Now, this can be changed, of course it can. I can say, I will be able to speak to anybody if I study a lot of English. Oops. So now if you notice here, I will be able to speak to anybody if I study a lot of English. There's no comma. Why not? Because I started the sentence with the conditional clause. So if I start with this, the comma disappears. If I start with the conditional clause, the comma is mandatory in order to divide the sentence. Remember, we are expressing a cause and a consequence, okay? The result is a consequence. When it's going to be seen in the future, that's why we got will here. Now, let's go back to the manual. Okay, what do we have here? It says, clauses with when or if describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. Okay, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, comma, 
customer satisfaction will be compromised. In this case, look when is substituting if. Customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. If there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. You see, the cause, the condition, the result. Or we can say productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. And then notice that when or if clause is expressed in present tense and the independent clause expresses future tense with will. Okay, why do we say the independent? Because this is a condition, remember. But let's not delve into that. Let's go to the exercise. Now, you will have to rewrite the sentences below to make st statements using clauses with when and if expressing future. Modify the verbs when necessary. Check answers with a classmate. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna get this text, we're gonna get these sentences and we're going to use when or if as asked in order to express our ideas. We're going to get rid of this period right here and we're going to turn them into this type of sentences. Let's see. Okay, guys, in order to do this, I will give you four minutes. It's more than enough time for you to finish the exercise. Let me open the rooms and I will be sending you the activity, the screenshot in a second. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. I guess that my partner has to leave. I don't know what happened to them, but I will send you to another group, okay? Okay, perfect.
will they will last money money, money will last money will last yes will be will be last will. yeah will be last okay i i think that i don't pronounce <laughs> okay the financial now if the financial department then then yeah yes yeah, in a query report okay number three mm, where when 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 the warehouse space is lim limited will be it will be there will be organization this organization is if the warehouse space is limited there will be this organization there will be okay teacher and when is similar to if but we can use when after the comma mm -hmm. uh, no no we use comma when the the sentence begin with if right no, also if it begins with when when the warehouse space is limited, comma, uh -huh. there will be this organization. Or there you say, be. if the warehouse space is limited, comma, in this case is if, but yeah, if uh -huh. you start the sentence with when, you gotta put the comma in. Oh, okay. Okay. Number four, okay. Let me see. When the employees open boxes and count items, time, time is the same. Count items time will be waste. Time will be waste. Okay. And the last one, if there is, if there is lack of communication between employees, the yeah. time will um, be, no. The time to fulfill orders increase. The time to fulfill orders will be increased. Or will increase. The time to fulfill orders will be increased. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, guys, let's see.
Okay. Number one. Who's gonna read it for me? Maria Alejandra, number one, please. Okay. The organization of the that is bad time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Okay, now correct it. <laughs> when the time is wasted over unnecessary tasks, will the organization do as bad as Okay. Or you can say the organization of the dog is bad when time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Uh, or the other way, of course, you can say when time is wasted over unnecessary tasks, comma, the organization of the uh, dog is bad. Perfect. Thank you. Teacher, sorry. Yeah. All, all the forming noise possible, for example, uh, time is was was it or what was it when i'm sorry i'm sorry time is wasted over unnecessary tasks when the organization of the dog is bad wow ah uh, mm. that's okay thank you, you teacher uh, i'm sorry teacher i know no 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 lo hice si i no, but you can say it like this. You can say it both ways. Listen, you can say, when the organization of the dog is bad, time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Look, when the organization of the dog is bad, time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. This is the condition. Teacher. This is the result. Yes, Roxana? Uh, I have a question. Uh, we can say when the organization of the dog is bad, time will be wasted over necessary tasks. Let me see. When the organization of the dog is bad, time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. Time will be, in this case, this will be it. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to write it down. Give me a second, guys. It's easier for me to check out the grammar when I write it down. So this thing goes like, yeah. It goes like this. When the organization of the dog is bad, comma, I will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. Okay, now, I will be honest with you guys. The problem for me was this. Actually, we don't speak like that. We say it like this. That's the way we speak. If the organization of the dog is bad, time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. Actually, this one here is not completely appropriate. The most proper is if. The situation is this, if we use when, okay, let me explain something. In that sentence, if we use when, is better if both sentences are in present. Okay? Because in that case, we are talking about the zero conditional. Zero conditional expresses facts, truth. Okay. Perdón, voy a saltar a español un instante. 
eh, para serle honestos a ustedes, gramaticalmente eso que está ahí, sí existe. Coloquialmente no hablamos así. Coloquialmente, si pongo el when, es porque estoy usando el, el zero condition, que es este, ambos en presente. Entonces uso más el when. Rara vez lo uso en la condicional que es futuro posible. En ese caso, normalmente uso el if. So, it is better if for the exercise you use if. Let me do it for you like this so you can check it out, okay? Okay, so it was like uh, this. The second one. The financial department sends inaccurate reports. Money is lost. Okay. Okay, money will be lost. Now the next one, the warehouse space is limited. There is disorganization. Again, look, I will do it as it says here, but look at the difference. When you say, when the warehouse space is limited, comma, there is this organization. Now, this makes sense. Look, look at this. When the warehouse space is limited, there is this organization. This makes sense. So we use it like this for the zero condition. We are expressing a fact. Estamos expresando un hecho. But in this, okay, we are expressing a totally different idea. Why? Because we are expressing a future condition, okay? And in this case, the future condition applies if we use if the warehouse space is limited, there will be this organization, not when. Okay, when we use this when, it's mostly uh, for present, not for future. Did I make myself? clear or did I confuse you guys more? To be no. confused. What did you say, Roxana? I, I need to take the uh, screenshot <laughs> on your screen, teacher. Ah, okay, let's do something. Let me just do something, let me do something. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, uh, I just took note of this and let's do something. Uh, I will send you uh, an explanation tomorrow as a PPT. Okay, so you can have okay, it, teacher. save it, and that's going to be more helpful for you. Okay, now, but before we we move on, I would like to share something else with you guys. And it's right here. Let's see. We have here warehouse safety procedures. Okay, who's gonna start reading? Frank, please start reading. Can you okay. see my screen? <laughs> There's more to warehouse safety than obedience 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 to, obedience to fire codes and safety regulations unfortunately, unfortunately too many warehouses and 3pls look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed hold on hold on hold on, hold on a second i'm sorry Activate your microphone again, Frank. Okay. Perfect. Please continue. From the beginning or no 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 okay. as you were. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PLs look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law or their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving through higher employees, satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions and reduced uh, abs absenteeism and equipment downtime. Equipment, equipment downtime. Thank you very much, Frank. Let's see, Roxana, continue, please. Don't expect employees to start with a cultures or of culture. Safe, culture of safety at work, establishing a safety cult culture, including culture. the culture, including the necessary oper operational change, changes and training and education programs. Start with you. Thank you. The follow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see, uh, Francisco, you continue. Okay, let's see. Uh, Marta, please. The following are some measure you could measures. Study, measures you could start implementing with your teams. And um, there are A. May you sure that grab um, garbage yeah. and debris bins are available through the warehouse. Block access to spaces or open loading do doors. Keep aisle and um, pass aisles, 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 um, pass away clear at all time. Keep Thank your you back much. strength. Thank you, Marta. Sorry to interrupt you. Erwin, continue, please. Let yeah, but I have problem. I am uh, trying with my cell phone. Letter D, keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Okay, letter E, please. Teach employees to put manual material handling equipment whenever possible. When, whenever possible. Rather than pull locals loads, loads. Thank you, Erwin. And okay. remember, Erwin, handling, handling. 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Jose Wilfredo, letter F. Test the law before lightning. Lifting it. Lifting it. it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Continue, please. Continue. Keep yep. dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes, building materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate ladders, ladders or appropriate lifting. lifting? Devices are available. Okay, thank you very much. Ladders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There is more the warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and GPLs look at safety as meeting the minimum instructor by the law or their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost savings too. Higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions, and reduced absenteeism and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education programs, starts with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. A, make sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. B, block access to exposed or open loading dog doors. C, keep aisles and passageways clear at all times. D, keep your back straight, don't bend over. E, Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. F, test the load before, before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. G, keep dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, building materials, debris, dirt and oil. H, permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. Now guys, your homework. You have to classify the security measures above in the categories from the box below. And then we are going to compare. So this is the homework. Let me get it like this. Sorry, guys. Okay, perfect. Because I'm going to send this screen to you. So you will have to get general housekeeping, false and other present preventable mishaps, mishaps. Remember this words mishaps, manual lifting furlicks and material handling equipment. Okay, that's your homework. You need to classify these according to these categories, okay? And please do it, we are going to discuss it tomorrow. But before we finish, let me get the final attendance, if you are so kind. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Francisco. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Fernando, did I say your name? Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. 
Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Nicolás Satidio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present, teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Shanir Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batas Montarrosa. Thank you, Janir. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher, excuse me. Thank I you. My connection. No problem, Walter. No problem. Teacher. Hey, guys. Okay. Does I have yes, one, was... one uh, uh, question to make? To do? Yes, yeah, sure. Ask me. Okay. Uh, the unit three, exercise 3.5, uh, still have still has the run all the the answer so i don't know if the platform is wrong or what 3.5 let me see because the other day we fixed one of section three but i don't remember which one was it uh, 3.5 okay and three. section three is for tonight guys don't forget let's i i also copy and paste and they only add the the punctuation but i got the the x so like it's a mistake okay let me let me check on something section three is for tonight guys please don't forget let me see don't go for just let okay. me check on something because we are talking about section three point five uh, yeah, but I want to check one little thing right here. Just give me a second. Oh, for the rest of you, I'm so sorry. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy it. Section tomorrow, three. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See ya. Jose Wilfredo, section three. Good night, Roxana. Well, I guess it's perhaps it's a problem with your keyboard, my friend. Really? Because, yeah, because some of your classmates got the, the, the perfect scoring for section three. Let's see. Okay. Do you have it? Do you have it there right now at this moment? Yep. yep. Okay, let me just do something here. Bye, Erwin. Take care. Okay, let's see. Section 3.5. We remove items from cartons and packages as a result. Pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Right? Mm -hmm you need to fix the punctuation. So we remove items from cartons and packages, semicolon, okay. Nah. Do it without the semicolon. There's a mistake there. Usually when we use semicolons, we need a space and they didn't include it. Try with period. We remove items from cartons and packages, period, space, capital. As mm -hmm. a result, comma, mm -hmm. pickers are not able to find them when they need to, apart. Mm -hmm. You got it? Okay, we have to start with a capital we remove items from cartoons no. and packages period a space yeah. capital as a result we have to use a comma right there 
I just texted it to you. Before before pickers. Okay. As a result, comma pickers. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect picture. I got it. Is it okay now? Yeah. Yeah, is it okay now? And the second one is the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, in a single box, comma. Consequently, uh, 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 no. Remember, before consequently, you can use semicolon or mm -hmm. period. The comma goes after. After, consequently. Yep. Okay. It goes something like this, look. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have to waste time to open the box, count the mm -hmm. items, and rebox them. If you see, semicolon. Yep. Mm -hmm. And also, we can use a, a period too, right? Before it can see. Yeah, of completely. course. Of course. Just mm -hmm. don't remember if you get a period, a space, capital. Mm -hmm. Number three, the warehouse doesn't have enough docks. Semicolon, mm -hmm. space. Uh -huh. Therefore, comma, comma, yeah. We have to put products in the aisles apart. Mm -hmm. yeah, or the okay. other option is the warehouse doesn't have enough ducks, period. Mm -hmm. Therefore, comma, we have to put products in the aisles. Mm -hmm. Okay. I already finished it here. Okay, number four, in number four, it's, uh, the option, I guess the only option is period. Yeah, it's period. You finish it? Yep, I already finished it. Did it work? Yep. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you for helping. So, no, no, no. I, I finished you. So the, glad it did. the unit three. Perfect, my friend. Excellent. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. You too. Have a good night. Well, it's time. See you tomorrow.